Hello, this is a brief overview of BC Innovates Hackathon, April 4th to 6th, 2019, Thursday through Saturday. It will take place at the Bakersfield College Levin Center is where it will begin. Registration will open up uh, the first week of March, and you can register at bcinnovates.com. There you can register with teams up to three to five members, and again, register online before April the 2nd. Registration will close on April the 2nd. The event will kick off on Thursday, April 4th, and when this is when you can pick up your packets at the Levin Center along with swag and t-shirts and all that great stuff. Then on Friday, April 5th, we'll have workshops and teamwork, and you can work both on and off BC campus. Saturday, April 6th, working again as teams on or off campus. I highly recommend that you take advantage of the workshops that are gonna be happening on Friday so you can have a competitive edge. And then on Saturday in the afternoon, you will be judged and winners will be announced. This will be on the BC campus. Here's the challenge. Teams are asked to develop proposals to create technology tools that capture stories and information on health challenges or success, success stories in Kern County by place. And what I mean by this is that you need to really focus in on Kern County and what are the challenges and success stories that we have in Kern County. So you're also lifting up stories by place. This uh, one aspect too is that you can develop web apps, web page, or using social media platforms to capture these stories in Kern County, focusing in on one place. So here are some examples. You can um, capture stories through digital storytelling. You can unearth untold stories of Kern County by lifting up some of these experiences that people have had with health challenges or solutions. So digital storytelling is not limited to video alone. Instead, it covers a range of digital narratives such as web-based stories, interactive stories, using hypertext and hashtags, and even narrative computer games are considered part of digital storytelling. Your team can use accessible media production techniques, hardware, and software including but not limited to digital cameras, digital voice recorders, application designs to capture stories, and geocoding. GIS coding ideas can include podcasts, social media, and more to distribute and other means of electronic distribution. Solutions can leverage social media, look into API access to social media platforms, research which hashtags trend over time over geographic areas. For example, a person developed an actual web that, that, that used Twitter hashtags to visual, build visual graphs to reflect the emotions of Twitter around a certain themes. And they did this by having a hashtag and using a technique to capture how people felt, um, each on neutral based or hashtags in a key area. I think one of the underlying themes here is that we really want to lift up the stories of Kern County. And this is Professor Barron talking here, narrating this, is that sometimes people don't know really about Kern County. They know about our statistics, but they don't know about the stories of the places within Kern County and how diverse Kern County is. So just looking at this map here from Fraser Park, which is up in the mountains, to out in California City, which is the desert, to our metropolitan area, which is actually quite large and diverse with different communities within Bakersfield, to our rural areas and our, our communities in, in the northern area of Delano, McFarland, and Wasco, uh, to our Arvin and Lamont areas, to our farming communities, to the areas out in Lake Isabella with, the, with river access and all the issues and the challenges and solutions that are each occurring every day in each one of those communities. Your challenge is to focus in on one of those communities, one of those neighborhoods, and lift up a story or lift up some concept or idea for that area. Now, if you come up with something that can be applicable to all of Kern County, that's great. But each area is challenged or has solutions that are different. So identify a community. Now, here are some of the themes that you can look into within that community. Accessing healthcare. Accessing mental health services, overcoming mental health stigma. Are there food deserts in this area? Agricultural bounties and labor. 
talk about chronic stress or some of the things that are happening in Kern County to combat con con chronic stress. How about opiate crisis? There we breathe. Homelessness, sexually transmitted diseases, what people will say or what they won't say. And then obesity and health under this also falls diabetes, food insecurity, walkable and livable communities. What are some of the solutions that we can do to address some of these issues within these communities? Or what are some of the success stories that are happening out there? Can we use a web-based app or use some kind of technology application to really raise up these stories or to address some of these issues or solutions in these areas? All top topics must have a, a connection to public health. They must be building a healthy community or addressing how to build a healthy community. It's using technology to innovate and solve the challenge. Uh, teams will need to research stories prior to the event. So I suggest that you get going with your looking into what some of these areas are. You must use technology to capture the stories, an app design, website, use of social media. And we're going to be posting photo release forms. It's a good idea that if you're going to be lifting up someone's story, that you go ahead and you get them to sign a photo release form, giving them permission for you to use their video, their face, and their story. So this is um, due on April the 6th is when everything is due. And uh, by the end of the hackathon, hackathon team members will, will present on the following. They'll have a, a concept two-minute pitch of whatever concept you come up with. So this is where you could have one of your communication members focus in on that. A one-page narrative abstract, which is a community impact report. A one-page scope of work with a draft budget to take proof of concept to fruition. Provide a slice of technology that will be used to distribute or capture the stories or raise awareness. Now, this concept does not need to be developed completely. It shouldn't, actually. It should only be a slice of a concept because later on, your proposal is something that will be taken out to the community if you're a winner. It's something that we plan to lift up, and our goal is to take it to an actual, um, from concept to development. Your team members. You should really should have someone who's a computer science role or digital graphics design role, or both actually. I recommend having both. You should have a project lead role, a communication role, and I would have a, a suggest you have a public health or researcher role. Someone who can go out and just research the issues and bring them to your team. Next steps. You need to go to www.bcinnovates.com to register. Registration will open late February or early March online. You will have a form to complete. You should put down your project team and who your members are. All team members should be registered by April 2nd. So we'll have individual registrations, and then you could say, I've got a team, and this is my team's name. Download Slack app to stay up to date on announcements and to communicate with your team. And updates and videos will be posted on bcinnovates.com and then also on the BC Public Health Science webpage, there's an actual page that you can follow too. Start forming your team and talking about ideas. And mark off your calendar from 4th, um, April 4th to April 6th. Look forward to seeing your teams and to this year's hackathon. Yay! We are excited about this and we are BC. This is from your BC hackathon planning